Hello, you're listening to WBRU.com. DJ Mike here, and today we are talking with Kate Francis. Kate Francis was launched as the solo project of Kevin Olgan Henthorne after the breakup of his previous band, Stone Cold Fox. The project combines skyscraping indie rock ambition with down-to-earth folk elements for a worm sound perfect for the forthcoming summer months. Kate Francis will be performing at the Welcome Campers Festival, organized by music website The Wild Honey Pie, and taking place this Memorial Day in Otis, Massachusetts. I wanted to start by thanking Kate Francis for being here. And how are you doing today, Kevin? Oh, great. Thanks for having me. Sure. Thank you for calling in. Uh, so the first thing I want to ask you about was uh, how you decided to go by the name Kate Francis as opposed to just using your name, Kevin Um, I was kind of on the fence for a little while, actually. Um, I just think my name is really boring. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and it's also just like, unfortunately, I feel like uh, pop culture has just ruined the name Kevin for everybody. We're we're always like the the guy who like didn't get the girl in the teenage rom com. Yeah, or, like, or the ki- the kid in uh, Home Alone. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, yeah, that's actually the uh, the only like cool one actually. In that's retrospect. true. That, that was the best <laughs> one. But um, uh, no, I um, one of the last songs that we were working on when I was in my last band, Stone Cold Fox, um. One of the last songs uh, was named Cape St. Francis, and it was based on the, um, I don't know if you've seen Endless Summer, but it's a, it's a surfing dock um, from, like, the 60s. And they find this place in Cape St. Francis that has, like, perfect waves every time, and I thought that was just a really interesting idea to name something after like an idealistic place um so that that kind of became something i'd stro- like strive for for when i was writing this project and uh you know there's a lot of bands with saint in the name so i got rid of it <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much it's pretty much it <laughs> yeah there are a lot of saints out there <laughs> that's funny yeah that's cool that's really cool um so what would you say is the like driving force behind the music of cape francis like what do you want your music to say um, well, you know, the last album was a really hard time. Um, there were just a lot of things that happened at once. I like the the band I was in was pretty much like my entire life. Mm-hmm. Uh, my laptop got stolen, like my apartment got broken into. Oh, God. And then, you know, Trump uh, stuff. <laughs> Everything yeah. just kind of happened at the same like month. And it just jarred me into a forcible change in my life. And so I kind of just wrote about it, even though, like, on the surface, like, I'm still just, like, a white guy who has it pretty well. I just focused on, you know, the basic feelings that I was having. And those things I found were, like, really universal and people uh, understood them. You know, and I think I think I kind of learned that because for so long I, I didn't want to write about like real things to myself because I thought like, who am I to complain about this? Who am I to like dive into these things? But um, I feel like you have to as an artist sometimes. So that that's that's usually been at the heart of everything I do for Cape Francis. Mm-hmm. How would you say that like kind of motivation manifested itself in like the actual writing of the songs? Um. Well. It's just each song, uh, I was mining a lot of that, um, a lot of what I was going through. Um, And I don't know, like some songs, they just like came out. Like I I Did a Rod was a song that came out in one day uh, while I was up at the studio and it came out of nowhere and I just like all of those things that I'd been feeling and thinking about for like months just kind kind of pulled through. Cool. Um, I wanted to ask you specifically about the song Ollie, because that seems to be uh, kind of your biggest hit uh, for those unfamiliar with the band. Mm-hmm. Ollie has almost 2 million streams on Spotify, which is a pretty good number uh, for a band with only one album out. And I wanted to ask you about the writing process behind like that song sp- in specifically. Uh, that song was kind of hard to write, actually. Um, I had the guitar line, and like when that happened, I, like when something's like really fun to play and it just clicks, I know, like, it's, I need to keep this. So, like, the beginning guitar line was, uh, like, the first thing that came. And I wanted to have at least one song in the album feel like we escape a lot of the weight of everything else. Um, 
And that one really grew from uh, my childhood playing all the oxen free, or, you know, that game that, uh, it, like, flashlight tag at the end. I <laughs> would say it. Um, but I wanted to just get in a specific small story uh, of comparing it to just feeling like I'm waiting for, like, something to change in my life. Um, so that was kind of what I was trying to do there and that song. And people seem to really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We love it here at the station. Uh, it's a, a big fan of it, personally. Um, so your first album last year came out. It was called Falling Into Pieces. Do you have any new stuff that you're working on at the moment, or are you still kind of in like the album phase for Falling Into Pieces? No, I, I have a hard time getting into uh, album phase. <laughs> 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 Probably working on things to support it, like uh, merch and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I just keep writing. So I'm uh, almost done with the second album. And, oh, wow. Um, just trucking on and uh, mm-hmm. uh, mining more uh, depressing material for my life. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give us a bit of a sneak peek as to what to expect, like what you're trying to do with the new album? Yeah, well, the, the new album um, is primarily centered around work and uh, being a, a highly creative person also having to do a 9-to-5 job mm. uh, every day. And it's it's difficult, but everyone has to do it. So I'm just um, trying to explore it. What is your nine to five job? Uh, I'm a video editor for like corporate entities. Oh, okay. so it's, it's sometimes incredibly boring video. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you find that helps at all in terms of like making video content for Cape Francis, or do you kind of keep those two worlds separate? No, they're pretty separate. I mean, I went to film school, so oh, I cool. just had that skill out mm-hmm. of out of college. Um, and I was able to, to use it, but, um, I usually edit all the music videos, um, that I do, and, um, yeah, like the last, the last one, and actually Ollie is coming out soon as a music Ooh. video, so that will be out soon. I, I worked with, um, a friend of mine who is an animator, he does, like, stop motion, so it's, it's Ooh, gonna be wow. a fun one. It's yeah. definitely silly, Yeah, it's I gonna be fun. Can't <laughs> wait to see that, can't wait for that to come out, uh, definitely will be checking that out when it drops. Uh... So what are your feelings about playing the Welcome Campers uh, Festival this weekend? I can't wait. This thing's going to be awesome. I've always wanted to play it. Mm-hmm. Um, it just seems like fun. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it's, it's a weekend away. Yeah. And, you know, after, we do, after we're done playing, we have to hang out with everybody for mm-hmm. like another full day. It's, it's going to be great. Yeah, for listeners who are unfamiliar, Welcome Campers is a festival, like I said, uh, held in Massachusetts every Memorial Day weekend. Uh put together by the Wild Honey Pie, which is a music website based in New York and Los Angeles. And the way that basically happens is they get like 10 to a dozen bands uh, to come out and they rent out a campground and uh, all the attendees to the festival, like if you buy tickets, you stay at the camp and so do the bands. So they play shows while you're at camp. But then they also are just like on a camping trip with you where you go like hiking and barbecuing and swimming and canoeing and all this cool stuff. So it's basically like a three-day weekend where you uh, just basically go back to summer camp like uh, the good old child days and you're hanging out with some bands that you really love and get to see some good music in a really small setting so it's a really cool little space all right Absolutely. so bef- before we wrap up we have a couple uh rapid fire questions that we like to ask everyone who calls in the bru uh and so feel free to go into any detail or just quick answers as what you know whatever you uh oh, man. See fit. Okay. these ones are a bit, <laughs> these ones are a bit sillier don't worry so my first okay. my first question which is actually a very serious question is um is a hot dog a sandwich Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thank you. Uh, is cereal with milk a kind of soup? No. No? Does pineapple no. belong on pizza? I don't care. <laughs> Everyone seems to care. <laughs> I, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your favorite pizza topping then? Or what's a pizza topping you feel really strongly either for or against? I'm all about mushroom pepperoni. Mm, mushroom I, pepperoni. I could eat that every day. That should, that's just great. Oh, can I say that? You can bleep that out. No, Sorry. you can say that. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, would you rather have a dragon or be a dragon? Be one, for sure. Be one? Why is that? Because you can, then you can fly. That's true. But you can ride. Uh, I'm not going uh, to interrogate your I answer. Don't, I don't want... I'm way too afraid of heights for that. That's, I don't want to ride one. That, wait, like, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Jack Black or Jack White? Jack White. Jack White, okay. And then my last question for you is, uh, what are your favorite records of 2018 so far? 
2018. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, or just, or just like recent records you've been digging. It doesn't have to be specifically from this year. I mean, uh, the last uh, Big Thief album capacity mm-hmm. was pretty just phenomenal. Um, so I've been listening to that a lot, and I also just got into Super Organism. And yeah, I'm, like obsessed. We've been playing a lot of them at the station, so yeah, we're big fans here too. Well, thank you so much, Kevin, for calling in, and uh, have a great time at the Welcome Campers Fest, and uh, best of luck with the new album and everything else going forward. Awesome. Thanks so much. No problem. Have a good one. You too. Bye. That was Kevin Holkin-Henthorn from Cape Francis. You're listening to WBRU.com. Thank you for tuning in.